Right, folks. Um, you might have noticed that I have been on the uh, kickoff with True Geordie, Lawrence, Hugh, and the rest of the team. And I would like to say, uh, this is the last time I'll say thank you to them for what they've done. Right? That's it. I'm not saying it again. They've told me not to, so I'm not going to. I'm going to honour their wishes. So, um, I've made a few notes, or rather June has wrote a few notes down for me. Um, because people have been asking me about the day. What's he doing in there? Oi! He's doing nothing. He's just looking. Um asking me about the day uh, and I want to tell you about the day that I had, uh, me and Ginge had and I would like to say thank you to all the people that gave me uh, good wishes and thanked me afterwards and basically said how I bossed it or I was brilliant or whatever and um, say a little bit about the day. So me and Ginge set off, we went down the slab didn't we Ginge? What's that? It's the M1. Yes. And uh, we got there well too early, uh, really early. And uh, yeah, I'm always early. What are you on about, June? Always early. Cheeky mare. And um, we, yeah, we got down there. And um, anyway, they took us around to a cafe. And we, me and Ginge had some uh, drinks and stuff. And then uh, we went back and uh, we met the team. And. Uh, the, the, the building's a magnificent place and you walk in and, the, and you, you, we met the producer and the producer met, showed us where the, 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 uh, the gallery where, no it, wa it wasn't Tony Hart, that kind of gallery, it was TVs and monitors and all the stuff and it's amazing and uh, we went in and then uh, we met some of the sound lads and the, the runner and the, the cameraman and shook everybody's hand and they all made us feel really welcome didn't they Ginge? Yes. It was you know uh, then we met uh, here and uh, met Elliot the first time I've actually met Elliot you know I mean he's done a hell of a lot for me Elliot has and uh, he's another one that I can't thank enough for, for what he's done and met him for the first time and met Lawrence and as I was chatting to Lawrence and Hugh, I heard this, felt this tap on the shoulder and there was a presence, weren't they, Ginge? And they, and they turned around and went, hey, man, and that kind of thing. And I went, oh, you fucking about to shit myself, because there he is, true Geordie, the man himself. So, um, and I got up and shook his hand and gave him a big hug and I thanked him that time. I'm not thanking him again, all right? And... Um, it, the whole team made me feel so welcome because when all of a sudden done, although True Geordie has done pretty much the same as me, he started on an iPhone and just did it. And he, the, you know, he's got massive channel and all the subscribers. And I always said that I don't think I could actually help him get any subscribers because most of his subscribers are mine. And don't get me wrong, I've got a few of my own, um, but um, yeah, uh, and they just. We just went in, didn't we, Ginge, and, you know, look at that. <laughs> Dog. <sighs> Carry on. Yeah, so, uh, I'm just saying, Ginge, they made us feel welcome. Yeah. Like, you, you know, I mean, it was a male-dominated environment, but you never felt, <laughs> yeah. you know, it, it was quite good, weren't it? You yeah. were, you... Just leave it. It's all right, we've had macaroni cheese and the, the bowl's in the sink, and um, <laughs> the doodle's doing his best to do the washing up. And, um... Yeah, it was absolutely great and the, the game came on and I was a little bit slow to start with. Um, it wasn't that I was nervous, it's just that I didn't really know what to say. I didn't want to, to, to butt in and stand on anybody's toes, so to speak. So you have to take a step back, I think, and I did. And, and anyway, they were talking about Newcastle and Arsenal and then they started talking about the Leicester Wolves game. So I knew what I was saying. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I sort of fell out of um, love with uh, football because the, the stupid wages that they get paid and plus with having a daughter, uh, I never, <laughs> ever, ever thought <laughs> that Ginge would take up football. I mean, don't... Take up football? Yeah, you know, I'm going to say, it. no, you, Ginge can't play football. She walks like a penguin. I never mind. I can't right. play any sport. No. Um, but... You've taken to Leicester, yeah. haven't you? And me and Ginger are going to go and watch more Leicester games now. And as soon as he started talking about Leicester, I knew what to, I could 
chip into the to the show and make a contribution because they must have obviously seen something in me where they must have been a bit worried at the beginning because I was quiet yeah although I was quite confident in that when they started talking about that first game I just sat there and <laughs> Yeah, but they're not your teams, are they? No, they're not my teams as such, but I should know something about them. And anyway, um, then then all of a sudden I just thought, come on, you fat git, get get stuck in. And um, I sparked up, and after that I was I was fine. I hope I was fine. I don't think I've let myself down. I don't think I've let the uh, city of Leicester down or anything like that. I think I've um, thoroughly uh, stood my ground. I hope so. Um, I w and um, I had the Nando's food at half time. Um, I was, I wanted to eat all of that, but because you only get like the 15 minutes, and um, it's, I was conscious of the mic because I was told you've got to be so close to the mic to talk and to get the best sound. And I was what, conscious because people say that I talk with my mouth full and I make a lot of noise, don't I, Jim? So, yeah, so, so I was conscious of that, but and I would, it was, that was a real nice little treat from Nando's and all that kind of thing. And um, you got a bottle of water, didn't you, Ginge? Yeah, I got a bottle of water. Ginge got a bottle of water, yeah. And uh, she was happy with that. I think she was going to cut and try and get True Geordie to sign it and sell it on eBay. I don't but think I, I was. <laughs> uh, damn, you're not being the initiative there. You're not being an entrepreneur there, Ginge. Uh, so anyway, got on to the second foot half of the football. And um, I started questioning them. Um, or not questioning them, but, you know, throwing different theories in and ideas why David Luiz left Chelsea and he went to Arsenal and, and all that kind of thing. And, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. It was basically like... Lads down the pub, um, just chatting about football. Because what the kickoff is, the kickoff is a very, very simple idea, right? You get the football on, and you get lads talking about it. And it's like what the lads do down the football. Because commentators may commentate on the game. They'll they'll tell you what they they'll tell you what you're seeing, right? And they'll put the thought into your head. But lads that go on the kickoff. They actually know about football. They know about football from a, a supporter's perspective. Is that the word, June? I think so. Yes, I think it is. Um, perspective. So, in theory, what most people should be doing is, and I'm not kissing ass here, and I'm not making it up to True Geordie or anything like that, but it's like when you watch the cricket, right? When you're watching the test match, turn the sound off on the test match and listen to it on Radio 4, right? And that's what you should do with the football. If the football's on Sky or BT, and True Geordie Lawrence and the Hugh are on there, on the kickoff, turn the sound off on the telly and listen to them. Because them guys are talking as supporters. They're talking as the ones that go in the, sh in the stand, I was going to say the showers, go in the stand, pay the money and watch the game. They're the ones that have got the passion for the game. Um, Jim Rosenthal, I can't remember who it is nowadays, who used to do it, and Brian Moore and them. Yeah, they know about football, but they don't know what the supporters thinking and feeling about the game and the team. Well, they're just saying what you see. Yeah. They're saying what you see. And it's not catchphrase. <laughs> so, that's the one thing about the kickoff, in my opinion. Since True Geordie has been following, uh, been reviewing me, I've been, I found out who he is. I've been watching his um, Ricky Gervais uh, interview. He's got his Robbie Williams one. Uh, and all that, right? So, it's great. You, you, you know, and they ask the questions that, the, that we want to ask. So, as, as the game went on, we were talking and more, and then unfortunately the game finished. And um, it was quite sad because that was that my time over. But me and Ginge, we had a thoroughly, thoroughly great yes. day. We yes. drove around Camden uh, and London and other places, and it was just, it was just great. And if, if the invite is back, down in the smoke. And next time I'm going to get some pearls on my jacket and uh, walk around like a chimney sweep. Um, <laughs> stereotyping, isn't it? That'll be a, you know. But it, it's a right, it's a, from when, where we live in the sticks, it's a completely different world. Yeah. Even when you won't go into Leicester, isn't it? Mm. You go down there and it's completely different. I said that you go, you go past Watford and it's just like a different kind of world with the people racing on, on the motorway. These Porsches, Mercs, 
Lamborghinis and whatever and everybody racing and hustling about and he's amazing and that's it really that's we've just had a great great time didn't we Ginge? It was an odd experience. An odd experience was, but, but I liked it. Yeah I mean the, the actual studio it's to sit there and watch True Jordan and Lawrence at that table and you felt like you're actually just watching the kickoff. You did. You? you did actually feel like you're just watching the kickoff, and it'll be a day I never, ever, ever forget. As long as I stay okay upstairs in the brain department. <laughs> but if I do ever forget it, Ginger, you'll just have to sit there and put the kickoff on I YouTube. Will, I will watch it and watch stuff it, like that. Yeah. But what a what a what a day. Um, Thank you. Yeah, June says, and June's there prompting me. Um, and once again, I've got to thank all the people who have watched me and supported me and built my um, built my channel up through watching it. Because not everybody's a subscriber who watches me, and I completely understand that. Because June won't subscribe to anybody, but she used to watch loads of people, and it's um, it, it's just good to know that you my subscriptions building up. And um, there you go, folks. Uh, apparently, I've just been text, and there is another kickoff show of my highlights. I've never had well, I did have highlights once. I had highlights in 1987 <laughs> when I used to have hair. Uh, they used to do a, uh, a thing at Leicester University or Leicester College where you could go and have your hair cut, and I think you made a, a, a paid a pound to cover all the costs. And I had highlights. Was I had it good? streaks. I don't know. I wonder where you put a mask on. Not oh, a mask. Yeah, a a thing on your head. I look, I, it looked all right when my hair was wet and it was hair gelled up, but as soon as it dried, it just looked like my normal ginger locks. Mm. So, there you go, folks. I had a great day out. Ginge, did you have a great day I out? Did. Yeah, you even fell asleep on the way back. The weather was atrocious. Oh, and that was another thing. Um, they were saying, like, I had a text from Elliot saying that all the stream on the next game. Um, the, the people wanted me back. They wanted me back. It was like, and we got back, didn't we, Ginger? And we looked at the, the <laughs> messages, and they were like, BVM, 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 where's BVM? Get BVM on, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't realise I'd made such an impact. I don't know what it is. Um, we don't know what the attraction is, do we, June? Definitely not. Who is Blue Van Man? Who is Blue Van Man? June's had 20 years of this, of me, a fat bloke, just like barking instructions, giving his opinion, and nobody, you know, taking the blind bit of notice. But nowadays, people do take a blind bit of notice of me. So, thank you to the people. <laughs> what? Aww. Aww, she says. Aww, June. Um, so, once again, thank you to all the people who follow me. Uh, I'm going to leave this here because I'm just rabbiting on and rambling now. And I'm not, I've made it go over bloody 10 minutes. And I didn't mean it to go over 10 minutes and all that kind of stuff. But there you go. Um, thank you. See you later. Say bye, Ginge. Bye. No, you're supposed to say bye, Ginge. Bye, Ginge. Thank you.